So many students get confused by the word G quadruple. You're not supposed to know what that is. They have to give you a definition for what a G quadruple is, which they do right here. You need to find an answer choice that fits this pattern. So I noticed that you have 2G and then you have G. You need an answer choice where the first number is twice as big as the second number. So we look through the choices. That works for A, that works for B, does not work for C, does not work for D, and does not work for E. So right off the bat, we know it's either A or B. Now, the last number is G divided by two. So we need an answer choice where the last number is half as big as the second number. When you look at choice A, the second number is 30 and the last number is 20. That's not half as big. When you look at the second one, B, the second number is 70 and the last number is 35. Perfect. Choice B is correct.